G Y N. So today's topic is intra hepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. Okay, so intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. So remember the intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy is stimulated by a hormone that's known as a estrogen. Estrogen, okay. And when it is seen, it's seen during the second half of the pregnancy. Okay, and if the patient is what you call multi gravida, then risk is more. So, in USMLE, try to remember they can give you the what you call the multi gravida, multi para lady a pregnant, and uh, what you call um, during her second half of the pregnancy with uh, sign and symptoms of intrahepatic cholestasis in the form of what you call interactable pruritus very important okay so what happens when there is an intrahepatic cholestasis during intrahepatic cholestasis of the pregnancy is the bile acids are incompletely cleared by the liver and accumulates in the plasma so if it's a liver i don't know whether i'm able to draw this clearly okay the bile acids are incompletely cleared by the liver, okay, incompletely cleared by the liver, okay, here bile acids, okay, and accumulates in the plasma, they go and accumulate in the what you call blood plasma, okay, remember, this is very important, and this is what uh, the basic pathology, pathophysiology of uh, intrahepatic cholestasis. So it's because of what you call it's stimulated because of the estrogen. Remember, it's the estrogen is responsible for that. Okay. So what are the findings? What are the um, patient will have? The most important thing is interactable pruritus. Itching. Okay. On the palms and the soles of the feet. Palms and soles. The other important thing that uh, that is important is these patients with intrahepatic cholestasis they have the pruritus and it's really very worse in the night remember it's really very worse at the night that's very important yeah right okay so uh, what do you call uh, how do you diagnose that okay so one thing that you should remember is the serum bile acids are increased 10 to 100 fold times okay and uh, what are the complications that can take place on uh, what you call uh, on uh, ba on uh, pregnancy or on babies on babies is a preterm the baby can be preterm or stillbirth that's why it's very important that you should treat it okay Okay, so what are the tests you're going to do? You show mild elevation of the bilirubin, but diagnostic findings are that serum bile acids are increased 10 to 100 folds. Okay, 10 to. hundred folds. Okay. Remember, there's no adverse outcome on what you call effect on uh, maternal outcome. Okay, so it's it, it's going to affect the baby rather than the mother. So how do you manage this? Management is by you have to give the drug of choice for this is also deoxy colic acid. Okay, it's a treatment of choice. Also deoxy colic acid is a treatment of choice. Okay, and the other thing you can give is cholesteramine. Cholesteramine. This helps to decrease the intra enterohepatic that's uh, circulation, enterohepatic circulation of the bile, okay, through the intestine to the liver. 
and then you can give oral antihistamines. Okay, guys. So remember, antenatal fetal testing should be initiated at 34 weeks. Okay, and symptoms disappear after delivery. Okay, guys. So this is about the brief discussion about uh, intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.